Hey guys, my name is Grant and I'm here to review the Groove Life belt. And if you're like me, you kept on seeing all these ads on Facebook or Instagram and you're just wondering if this is even a really a legit belt. So I'm here to review the belt, but most importantly, I know you guys are wondering how it conceal carries. So in this video, I'm just going to do a quick review of what the overview of what the belt is and then I'm going to show you how it actually conceal carries. All right, first thing I'm sure you want to know is how the magnets actually work. And so in the ads, it's kind of a little misleading. You, you almost assume it's just strong magnets just connecting together and that's it. And you're, only the magnets are really holding the belt together. But it's actually, if you can see, there's a little hook right here. And so then it holds, and there's little holes right here. So then it holds it together. So when you snap it, it, it can't come apart at all. And so if you're really using the, I guess the stretch, the tension to hold it together. And so then you push it together and then you can release the magnets right there. So it's not really 100% magnets that are holding really the belt together. It's using these holes right here, it snaps together, and then the tension of the belt is actually prevents it from splitting apart. And then the magnets, I guess, really just support it as well. So it's not 100% magnets, so you don't have to worry about it just coming apart if you pull really hard because, yeah, with the holes, it, it really prevents it from happening. To adjust the belt length, it's really simple. You just have to push in or pull out right here to adjust the length of the actual belt. So it's really simple, and yeah. All right, to the fun part. So let's talk about Conceal Carry and how it actually performs, really. So real quick, my history of Conceal Carrying. I've been ca carrying about like two years now, and I'm still pretty new at it. And man, as I'm sure you guys know, it's such a annoying, complicated journey just to go through. I'm figuring out your clothes size, figuring out the belt, what's the right holster, all that fun stuff and you end up spending a lot of money. So I'm sure that's one of the reasons why you wanna watch this video is, is it actually worth the money to spend 50, $60 on another belt? So with me, like I remember when I first started, I got this uh, Core Essentials belt because it was like, it looked legit and you can uh, ratchet it, which I thought was the coolest thing ever. And yeah, so I got it. I mean, I think that was like $70 or something and so when I first got it, it was really cool. It was a nice stiff belt because that was always what Google said. That's what everyone else says. You need a stiff gun belt so it can support what you have. So it made sense. So then when I put it on, it, I don't know, it, it, it seemed a little uncomfortable, but then because I was very new to concealed carry, I was just like, okay, I guess this is part of the journey. This is, I just have to suffer a little bit, suffer, sacrifice, um, being comfortable just in order to carry um, my gun. So with that, when I got it, when you see this belt buckle, it looks like that's the size of it and that's it. So it looks pretty small right there, if you can see that. But if you look on the inside right there, it has this extra like inch of metal and that kept on digging into my side and it was actually kind of painful because the tighter I went, because I wanted to print less, and so the tighter I went, it dug into me more. And so I was looking at other belts as well. And so then I got the Trayvax belt, and I think this was pretty cheaper. It was like around thirty or forty dollars, and it was all slimline. It like that's the belt buckle right there, and it just felt good. And honestly, I still like this belt. It was pretty my everyday carry belt for since I got the Groove Life belt, but I had no complaints. It was nice and slim and, but yeah, so then, but I'd also noticed that the belt itself would kind of dig into my sides and, but I just assumed, hey, that's part of the concealed carry journey and you gotta suck it up. And so that's what I did. And then I got the ads for the Groove Life belt and the beauty of this is that it stretches. And man, I, I was skeptical too. And since like I got on Amazon, so I was assuming, or just knew that I could just return it if I really didn't like it. And so I tried it on and my goodness, it's 
seriously the most comfortable belt. And so then first thing I did, I got, I got my gun and uh, put it on and see how it performed. And it actually conceals better. And so it's because it, it stretches where it needs to stretch. And so then as also when you sit as well, it stretches too. And so it keeps everything comfortable and it doesn't dig into you. And that was the most uncomfortable part about the other stiff belts. And so, yeah, so I'm gonna show you, I guess, examples of how it actually conceals and show you, I guess, yeah, my clothing and yeah, and see how it actually performs and you can get a visual of how that actually works for you. All right, so I carry a Glock 43X with a tier one Axis Elite holster. And so yeah, let me show you what it looks like. All right, so as you can see, it's already stretching a little bit on here, if you can see. And so I purposely wore gray because I didn't want to wear black and say, oh, see, it conceals really well. So I want to show, I guess, as much printing as possible with clothes that easily can print, that show printing. And yeah, so let me show you actually how it conceals. So with this belt on, shirt, and then there it is. It like almost looks like it disappears. And I'm wearing kind of slim clothes. And let's see, yeah, there it is. And I'm not like really puffing out my chest. It's just, in fact, I can even slouch a little bit too. And you can see it just a tiny bit. But it conceals really well. So this is what the tier one Axis Elite holster with a gray shirt on, which normally uh, prints more. So then if I tighten up the shirt as well, that still looks pretty good. Just walking around, I can even like walk to the camera as well. Just a really good one. All right, for those who do not have a tier one uh, concealed or even like a spare mag type of holster, um, I have a Vetter holster, and this is actually the first holster I actually got, and it's still my favorite, especially with the claw. And so, yeah, here's what it looks like with a Vetter, um, yeah, single holster. Yep, so it's on. Then, same thing as well. Just a, it looks really good actually. It might conceal just a tiny bit better than the tier one. But, side shot, oh, yeah, right there. And yeah, that's pretty much it with carrying appendix anyway. And for those who carry at four o'clock, I just put it on at four. And so here it is right here, four o'clock. And this is how it conceals as well. Fix the shirt a little bit. So really good as well. And one more thing I forgot to mention is that when I conceal carry or when I carry appendix, I have to move the belt buckle to the side. And so, I mean, you can put it there, but I just like less bulk up front as much as possible. So the cool thing about this belt is you can just slide it through your belt loops and then I put it right to the side. So that's the only uh, thing different that I do with uh, appendix carrying. For those who are too worried about it being too flappy or something with the belt, vertically, it's pretty stiff. It stretches outward, but vertically, it really saves its shape, basically like the commercial they um, have with their ad. And so with drawing, it really has no effect on it. It's just like a normal gun belt. So a sample draw. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you're able to take something away from it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll respond to as many comments as I'm able to if you have any questions. And yeah, I really hope you like the Groove Life belt because I really do and I really think it's 
probably the best concealed carry belt there is on the market right now. So yeah, have a good one.